all right what's going on guys it's rest and welcome to another video so i was actually just going through my channel the other day and ever since the launch of soul 3.0 i actually have not made a sun bracers build i'm not exactly sure the reason and behind that but i figured today i would do that and try to make one as best as i possibly can that also struck an idea though and i would like to get you guys opinion on it what if i started a series where i end up making a build with every single exotic in the game i know a lot of exotics aren't as strong as others but maybe you could possibly make a fun build or even potentially find a build that maybe really good that no one actually knows about quite yet i think that could be an interesting series and if you guys would like to see something like that just be sure to let me know in the comments and i can try to get around to do that but now for this specific build sun bracers are honestly one of the craziest exotics in the game in my opinion you're going to be able to spam grenades everywhere and i think there is a lot to learn about this build and you can for sure take it into in-game content but all right just jumping right into it we need to first take a look at sun bracers so we can get an idea of what they do they have the exotic perk helium spirals increase the duration of solar grenades solar man kills great unlimited solar energy for a brief time so the first part is pretty self-explanatory the duration of solar grenade is going to last longer and then if you get a solar melee ability kill it will actually grant you a lot of grenade regeneration the way this perk actually works is when you get a melee kill you have around five seconds to throw your first grenade within those five seconds if you're spamming grenades you could throw a total of five grenades before you have no cooldown left so a very simple trick to do with these is to count as you throw them and make sure you always throw four grenades this will always let you have a grenade on stand by if you ever do need to throw one but if you do plan on getting another melee kill as soon as the perk ends you might as well just go to throw the fifth one as well but now if we jump over to our subclass which i think actually plays a huge part on why you can take this into in-game content we're going to take a look at our melee ability since melee abilities does actually matter a lot with this build i like to run incinerator snap incinerator snap to me is a lot better than celestial fire because of its scorching effect you can run celestial fire if you want to for a longer range kill but with incinerator snap you can sort of use it as a shotgun and almost guarantee a sun bracers proc 24 7. so a trick you can do with this instead of staying at melee distance throwing your incinerator snap out you can actually be right up on an enemy throw it somewhere at the ground and you will pretty much get an ignite 100 percent of the time because all the incinerator snap sparks are going to hit that single target since your melee calls the ignite this will still count as getting a melee kill which will proc sun bracers which is very very strong now you can also take things like phoenix dob as well so whenever you have heat rises proc you can actually scorch targets when you actually go down to the ground. What this is going to do is ignite targets if the incinerator snap doesn't ignite in general. So once again, if you have your melee ignite on them and then something else ignites it, you will also still proc some bracers. So you can use things like your class ability a lot do actually proc some bracers in a way if you are using your melee ability on the first enemy at least so in harder end game content if you melee an ad and it doesn't die you can then phoenix dive on it and it will ignite and then you will proc some bracers now obviously we're going to be running solar grenade with this build but for our aspects we're going to be running heat rises to proc things like phoenix diving but also on top of that this is going to allow you to float in the air very very effectively and every time you get a kill it essentially increases that timer so with this you're going to be floating in the air a lot and just throwing grenades everywhere this also has the ability when you get final blows while in the air you will also gain melee energy so this is obviously really good for getting your melee energy back you want your incinerator snap up as much as possible so you can constantly proc your sun bracers and just throw grenades like crazy now we're also going to be taking a touch of flame so we can buff our solar grenades specifically this is going to increase the linger duration on top of sun bracers and it's also going to periodically emit blobs of lava is what it says in the description which basically does a lot more damage now obviously this is very good for act clear you could pretty much just kill an entire room of enemies lock down a bunch of different spawn areas which is a bunch of solar grenades that last forever and shoot out lava do some additional damage and on top of that they also will apply scorch to enemies so even in a boss scenario if you throw a lot of these on a single target the actual solar grenade damage will not stack but you will be applying scorch and the lava that gets emitted from the solar grenade will also hit the enemy a lot so you can kind of just spam them on a boss and you still do a decent amount of damage now i also am gonna run well of radiance just because it is one of the best supers in the game especially for in-game content but for fragments i like to run ember of singeing so my class ability recharges fast when i scorch targets my melee and grenade and even class ability is always on a scorch target so i get my class ability back even faster which again will help proc your ignites with the standard snap to proc some bracers and harder content also running ember of appearance so whenever i get a weapon or ability final blow that is solar so whenever i get a solar weapon or ability final blow it actually extend the duration of restoration and radiant i think i've got to mention if you have heat rises proc on top of scorching target you will also apply restoration on the way down so if you have grenades on the ground you pop a phoenix dive it will actually take that two seconds of restoration and extend it and if you have that proc going for you you're pretty much unkillable because it is restoration times two 
and you can just keep it up infinitely with Ember of Empyrean. Now, I'm also running Ember of Ashes to apply more Scorch Sacks to targets. This is going to allow my Incinerator Snap, my Soul Grenade to ignite enemies a lot faster. Again, it helps with a bunch of add clear with the build and also proc and Sun Bracers. Then Ember of Searing, so whenever I defeat Scorch targets, I get granted melee energy. This is one you could probably replace with whatever you want to, since you already have Heat Rises actually proccing your melee energy. But I just like to run this just to be sure to get my Incinerator Snap as much as possible, because if you because if this ever goes on cooldown, the whole build is pretty much broken until you get the cooldown back, which is not good. But there are going to be ways you can kind of mitigate that when we get into the mods. But I just like running this again, just to be 100% sure I will always get an incinerator snap back. Now, weapons for this build honestly aren't even that specific. You can kind of just run whatever you want to. Recommendations are obviously just champion based weapons if you're taking it into harder in game content. But I think you can do is run things like Izanagi's and a bunch of auto loading holster weapons or you know even if we're on with a horde or something and you can just you know shoot a rocket and shoot a grenade launcher shot and then you know shoot it is a nagi reload then they'll eventually be you know reloaded you know shoot a rocket grenade launcher and then is a nagi's again the reason you could do this is because you don't really need primary ammo with this build since your sump racers are going to be your main form of at clear and also even additional false dps so running double slash offense honestly isn't that much of a problem and a lot of people already do this without even running sun bracers this build for sure makes it easier to achieve that though since you can just throw solar grenades everywhere for ad clear but if you want a more easier route for balls dps just equip with a horde and something like a linear fusion rifle and you will be good to go now for stats 100 resilience always the way to go and 100 discipline i just like to be sure so i can throw my grenades back as much as possible if you want to run 100 strength you can but you don't really have to with all the other benefits you're going to be getting from your mods and fragments or if you want to go 100 resilience 100 recovery that probably is the best way to go so you can get your phoenix out back as much as possible now to start off with the mods i actually want to go over something i'm not using in the build but i want to give that recommendation for the mod called one two finisher so finishers are going to restore melee abilities and it requires one sixth of your super energy this is a great mod to swap to if you ever do need to get a melee back it will take some of your super energy away but you don't really have to worry about that because you're going to be getting infinite supers anyway but I personally like to run a stasis bond so I can run double utility kickstart. This is gonna let me get around 20% of my class ability back whenever I do pop my Phoenix off, which is gonna be very nice again for procking ignites on enemies so I can proc sun bracers. Then for the first mod, melee wall maker is going to be the bread and butter of the build. This is how everything's going to get started. When you get a melee kill, you proc sun bracers. And now also on top of that, you're going to spawn a elemental well that matches your subclass type. So you'll spawn a solar elemental well. To play into that, I am also gonna be running well of life. So if I pick up that solo element well, I'm going to get regeneration over a short period of time. This does actually stack with restoration and it makes you even more tankier, especially with the 100 resilience and you can just float around and never die. Now I am also going to be running elemental charge. So I'm going to become charge of light when I pick up that elemental well as well on top of proccing well of life. And since it is a solar elemental well, I will get two stacks of charge of light. Then to take advantage of that, I am going to be running heavy handed. So when I'm charge of light, I regain half my melee energy. When I use my melee ability, consume it one stack of charger light so this means now when i use my simulator snap i'm getting half the melee energy back if i get a kill while in the air heat rods is proccing to give me melee energy back and our fragment is also giving me melee energy back so you can pretty much guarantee you're always going to have a melee up 24 7 especially with wells being spawned giving you energy as well and then i also like to run explosive wall maker so if i ever rapidly defeat enemies with explosive damage i will also spawn a solar element well so this means things like ignites i'm going to be throwing grenades everywhere so grenade kills are going to be spawned solar element wells and it just makes keeping the uptime of this build very very easy and very very strong and as you see i also am running double ashes to assets so you're going to gain bonus super energy on grenade kills since the whole build is based around throwing grenades everywhere you're pretty much going to have infinite supers with this build it is crazy how fast they charge with double ashes to assets on and that also kind of helps out if you do want to run the mod once you finish her because since you're going to be getting a lot of super energy anyway you can always practice if you ever do need to get that melee ability back but most of the time you don't really need this so again that's why i go with utility kickstart now another mod to mention is bolstering detonation so i'm going to grant class ability energy when i cause damage with a grenade i run double of these but you can change these out for any champion mod you want to it's not super crucial you're going to get the class ability back anyway but now since you're scorching targets you get class ability energy back and when your grenade actually damages a target you're also going to get class ability energy back which makes it really easy to keep your uptime on phoenix off if you're running lower end content just throw both of these on but if you do need to run champion mods it is totally okay to swap these out and that's honestly pretty much it for the mods again as the rundown you get a melee kill you're going to proc your exotic sun bracers you're going to spawn a well that will 
to then give you all life and make you charge light. That's then going to make your next melee refund half the energy when you use it. And on top of all that, explosive maker is there to also make wells for you. All this is giving you a building energy back. You're going to be throwing grenades everywhere. This is giving you super energy, class ability energy. You're getting infinite melees with everything else I've just went over. And you're going to be scorching things like crazy, spawning lava pools everywhere. And you also do have oil radiance for your teammates if you are in a boss DPS scenario. Again, weapons, you can kind of run whatever with it. Just whatever you prefer, whatever the team may need. And I truly do believe that this is one of the best Warlock builds in the game you can play right now. But all right, I think that's going through it all for me. I really hope you all enjoy. If you guys do try it out, be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you want to try it out, I will actually have a dim link to this build in the description below. Also, if you enjoy and want to see more content just like this, consider subscribing, shout out for like, and turn those notifications on. Also, if you'd like to join my Discord, or follow me on any of my socials all that will be linked in the description as well but i just want you to know that watching this video is way more than enough and that every single bit of support from y'all is truly appreciated thank you all so much for watching this one and have a great day peace